this is very important question in the interviews. Enrollment rule. Whenever we are creating an absence plan, we have to specify when employee can enroll into this particular plan. What is the rule, enrollment rule? For example, in the organizations, let's say some thousands of employees are there. There are some freshers. There are some mid-level experienced consultant. There are senior consultants. There are manager level consultants. Not only consultants, maybe they are insurance sector or banking sector. It depends on the domain, the different uh, positions we'll find here. So what is the enrollment rule you are going to set up for this particular options plan? When employee can enroll into the plan? Enrollment as of event means the employee can join the moment when we hire an employee. If employee is eligible, immediately he can enroll it. Otherwise, if at all we want to specify some number of days, waiting period. I'm mentioning two months. It means employee should wait at least two months. Employee should wait for two months for enrollment into this particular plan. For enrollment into this particular plan. Employee should wait for two months. That's a waiting period. There is a concept called uh, vesting period that we'll discuss in the next session. Waiting period is nothing but employee should wait for enrollment into the plan. So if we don't specify the value here, if we don't specify any value here, then employee can enroll immediately. Employee can enroll immediately into this particular options plan. For example, client says that freshers can enroll after two months. Mid-level managers, they can enroll after one month. Senior management can enroll into this plan immediately. There are three different types of requirements. So we have to write a logic, right? So when employee try to enroll into this plan, system should check whether employee is a fresher or mid-level or senior level. So I'm just giving three options. There might be multiple options also more than that. Okay. In that scenario, we'll try to use this formula. We call it as fast formulas. So fast formulas are used to change the values dynamically. Whatever the values we are giving here, those values dynamically it will be changed. Right now I'm giving static values. Static means fixed. Two months I'm giving. Whether he's a fresher or mid-level or senior doesn't matter. This two months waiting period is fixed. So any employee should wait for two months for enrollment into this plan from the date of hiring. That's I have specified. Okay. But my requirement is uh, three options. If fast formulas concept is not there, if we do not have fast formulas concept, I have to create three options plans here. Two months, one options plan, same options plan, one month, that is for mid-level employees. Same options plan, immediate, means zero days. That is for the senior management. Okay, like this, we are supposed to create these options plans. Like this, we are supposed to create these options plans. Okay, so but by using fast formulas, we can change that. By using fast formulas, we can change this. This is one of the important question in the interviews. What is enrollment rule? What is mean by waiting period? And what is mean by wasting period? We'll talk about that in the next session. Okay, thank you. Any doubts?